Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead code number 80, remove duplicates from sorted array 2. So we're given a sorted array numbers and we need to remove the duplicates in place so that duplicates appear at most twice. So there can't be in the return in the return array, there can't be any number that appears more than two times. And the hard part about this is that we can't allocate an extra space. So what people usually think about when they see this problem is like swapping the array values around so that they go to the end or things like that. But there's, there's actually a really short solution that doesn't involve swapping and it's kind of like a two pointer solution. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the beginning of the array and essentially until we find a duplicate that appears three times we're going to move forward our pointer. We're going to keep it kind of like a pointer. So, okay, we can move forward with our pointer. We can still move forward. And with this one, we, we, do, we don't want to include this into the result. So we're going to keep a pointer pointing to this number, but we're still going to move forward with the rest of the numbers. So this one is different from the one before. So we can, essentially copy this value into the stored pointer reference that we were maintaining before. So this one is going to be overwritten with a two. Then we're going to move forward with both our pointer and our traversal of the array. And now this two will go here, and then this three will go here, and the final length is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. So the pointer that we use to keep track of the position at which we're going to have to insert the next non-duplicate element can actually be uh, used at, as the returning uh, length as well, because we need to return the length of the array after doing these modifications. So the first thing that we're going to do is store the pointer in a variable. We're going to call that final length, because as I was telling you, it can be used both as the position of the next number and the final length returned. Then we're going to later on return this value then, as I was telling you, we're going to have to traverse the whole nums array. And at each step, if the current final length is less than two, meaning that we couldn't have any elements appearing three times because the length is less than two. So that's literally impossible. Or if the current number is different from the number at two positions before, then we can add this number to our result. And we do that by just overwriting whatever was at the previous final length index and incrementing final index uh, final length by one. And so that's it already. It's a very elegant solution and people usually write a much longer code, but this works just as well. And it's a O of n time complexity and O of one space complexity. So that's it for now and bye.